Hello everyone, so in this video I'll be talking about how to conduct a t-test for paired observations or you can call it paired t-test using jump. So to, uh, to give a difference between uh, the paired and the unpaired t-test, uh, I'm showing in the slide some examples. So unpaired means the events are not related. For example, let's say you have uh, two different machines that are generating the same parts. So you want to understand if there is any difference between the uh, parts that are generated by uh, these two machines. So since these two, uh, the operations of one machine does not depend on the other, uh, you can say uh, these two uh, machines are not related. So you can say the parts that are generated uh, by one machine is not dependent on the parts that are uh, generated by the other machine. So you can call this event an unpaired. On the other hand, uh, to go an example for a paired event, let's say you have one part and you are using two different gauges to measure them. You are interested in understanding whether uh, there is any difference between the measurements that are taken by the two different gauges from the same part. So you are measuring the same part. So here in this case, uh, you can say that uh, these two, uh, these are events that are related because you are measuring the same part. So now let me switch over to jump uh, to show how to conduct a paired t-test. So uh, here uh, the data uh, I have is a film thickness of uh, polymers uh, taken from uh, 10 different samples, but I've used two different gauges. Uh, oh, let me make a change over here. This should be gauge one. Uh, so by the way, if you want to make any changes to your column heading, you can just double click on the column heading and then make the change. So now, uh, so coming back to this, uh, so I have two different gauges. I measured the same polymer film thickness. So here I'm interested in knowing if there is any difference between the measurements that are given out by two different gauges. Uh, so now to do the paired t-test, uh, you can go to the analyze menu and then go to specialized modeling and then say matched pairs. And then here you choose both the gauges uh, or the film thickness in this case as your paired Y response and then say OK. So you can see that jump uh, shows some uh, graph along with the paired uh, t-test uh, data. So here if you observe carefully uh, the plot over here uh, the red solid line in the middle uh, is the uh, mean difference uh, between the paired set of observations. The dashed line above and below are the upper and lower confidence intervals. And so here uh, in this hypothesis test, you are basically uh, trying to see uh, if there is any difference uh, between uh, the paired events. And in this case, it's the difference between the film thickness measured by two different gauges for the same sample. So here uh, uh, you can see that the probability uh, value uh, or the p-value here is uh, less than the significant uh, uh, 0.05. Uh, so this means that uh, in this case you will uh, reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternate hypothesis uh, and you can come to the conclusion that uh, there is indeed significant difference between the uh, two different gauges which uh, did the measurement in this case. Also another red flag is that uh, you can see that uh, so your null hypothesis you are assuming that there is no difference between the two. This means uh, uh, you are assuming that uh, you know uh, zero uh, is uh, the difference or the mean difference between uh, these two gauges here. You can see that from the null hypothesis, the, the confidence interval from this paired t-test and also from this plot, uh, you can see that zero is not uh, within the confidence interval. So this again kind of confirms that uh, there is significant difference between the two gauges which measured the same samples. And so this also uh, leads you to conclude that uh, there might be significant difference between the two gauges. And so you might have to conduct a measurement system analysis in order to understand uh, the difference between the two gauges. Thank you.